Good morning. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Thursday, June 10th. A police car has struck and killed a woman in Camden County. A police spokesperson telling us that the woman was crossing Mount Ephraim Avenue in Woodland around 11 o'clock last night when she was hit. The New Jersey Attorney General's office is now investigating. And a shooting outside of an Upper Derby bar has left one person dead and two others hurt. It happened at Rudy's Tavern on Marshall Road around 1:45 this morning. Police say they did find a gun at a nearby business. Not clear what led up to that shooting. And Philadelphia ready to lift its indoor mask mandate in most of the city starting tomorrow morning. You still have to wear a mask in some indoor areas, including public transportation as well as healthcare centers. The city is also dropping the 11 p.m. last. Last call for restaurants. And now for a check of our forehead, it's going to be a nice day to be out there, Larissa. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, indeed, it will be. We are looking at drier air that will continue to funnel in, and that's going to change about how we've been dealing with this heat and humidity. For one, that key advisory that was locked in place all week has expired, and later today, we're going to be tracking cooler temperatures altogether. Around 83 degrees, the daytime high here in Philadelphia, with sunny intervals on tap. It's going to turn less humid as well. And I think a lot of people will enjoy that part of the forecast because humidity has been so excessive over the last several days. Notice how it's a muggy star with those dew points sitting in the 60s here early on. But as the day progresses, we'll notice that drier air filter in. By tonight, you can maybe even get away with opening a few windows and turning off the air conditioner. It should be nice. By Friday, we are going to see the return of a few showers around, primarily points south and west of the city. If I had to pick a spot, but temperatures are going to be cooler. We make up for Janelle in time for the weekend. All right. Sounds good, Larissa. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Hope you have a great day.